We're fighting in Minnesota this this uh, fail to yield issue, which is um, someone just pulls out on you failing to yield and kills or seriously hurts you. Um, really, there isn't a penalty for that um, unless the motorist is intoxicated. Um, what are what? How can we get a little bit more action on the issue of? Of, uh, of manners on the road. And I, and I don't mean to say, hey, I have, let's go ban cell phones, eating cheeseburgers, and putting on makeup in cars. But something's going on out there. Um, but when, when, when the officer on the street doesn't write the ticket because, geez, that person's already having a bad day, um, and or the county attorney doesn't prosecute it because he thinks it's a civil deal, not a criminal deal, um, and a judge doesn't have to hear it. Um, it just seems like we're a little bit, we are exposed out there a little bit, but, but when something bad happens to us, that there isn't much, much uh, that, that, that is going to happen. That's a pretty common problem across the country, and certainly one that's best addressed at the local level. Uh, several states have passed right away violation legislation to increase penalties or Put more tools in the judge's toolbox to, to uh, hand down stiffer penalties to people who do hit a motorcyclist or other vulnerable road users and admit they, they didn't see them or they may have a turn on red, hit a motorcyclist or a child on a skateboard. There are some, some pieces of legislation moving forward to address that issue. Uh, distracted driving is certainly a large problem in our community and that's being address that number of levels, too. Can I ask a question? Yep. Let me just ask a question. Uh, I've just been thinking about, I mean, it's a good question. And I said, well, what can I do? And I, I represent in Southern California 10 cities, San Diego, nine small ones. And, uh, and I, I don't know if you've done this at probably over the years you have. I mean, sit down, say, say a political person with some cyclists, with the chief of police and say, why aren't you going to, you know, we need you to do this. I mean, has, I assume that's been done, but maybe we need to do it in a, a more, I don't know, systematic way. Because, you know, you got an image problem, right? The cops see motorcycles. I mean, there's a terrorist right there, right? <laughs> 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 and, you know, the, and the guy driving the car that turned into you is wearing a suit and tie. So who's at, who's at fault? I mean, I suspect that some education here with some media and some sitting down with police chiefs, you know, maybe, I don't know, I, I, have you guys done this? Uh, I mean, I know all the police chiefs in my, in my area. I've never talked about this. I should. But if I were joined by some of the people from my, you know, my, my friends who know, who, who know every bit of what they're talking about, we just have a little talk and see what happens to the kind of enforcement that goes on. I think the laws are there myself. It's just a question of looking at it and, and, and this is, again, an image problem, you know, you know, cyclists that fault. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, you know. So I, I don't know, I'm willing to do that in my area. Let's see what happens and we maybe see what's going on in the other areas. Because, I mean, I, I meet with the police chiefs all the time. I haven't, I never, I haven't thought about talking about this because you, you just struck a chord there. And, uh, you know, maybe it, when you say it starts at the local level, if all the local cops in the county should be to us in the sheriff. Uh, are doing it, are doing enforcement, then it has an impact on it. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I found that that's 